Hi everyone, coming on with our op shop jewellery haul for the week. Got some really lovely pieces this week and a couple of very, very cool surprises. If you follow me on Instagram and or Facebook, you would have already seen this piece, but I'm going to show it at the end. So let's get through and see what we found this week. A really, really good array of different pieces, different prices. Some are really, really dirt cheap. Some are paid a bit more for, and I will explain why, where, and how as we go through. There's quite a few pieces. So what I'm going to do is as I go through the video, I'm going to move some off to the side just so I've got a little bit more room. The first pieces are a couple of bolo ties. My husband actually found them for $3 each. Lovely signed ones. They are vintage, made in the 90s. This one has roses. And this one has a lovely horse. They are on leather. And they are signed on the back. So it says 1992. So those were cool for $3 each. I found this really lovely necklace. These are glass beads. The gold ones are glass, um, likely hand blown, and because they're all very irregular and they've been painted gold. And then they have these lovely red crystal beads in between. I purchased this one because quality wise, it's just really, really lovely. You can tell it's vintage because of the old barrel clasp as well. Really love these. They were $7, so I did pay a bit more than what I usually would for them, but quality-wise, this, this is easily an $80 to $100 strand of beads if they were retail, so I was very happy to pay for those. We got quite a few brooches this week. I'll go through and show you what we got. There was this lovely brass and rhinestone, and this is a glass cabochon in the middle. It's likely Western Germany. That was $2. We found this Mother of Pearl Shell Bethlehem carved brooch for three dollars this lovely little praying lucite brooch for two dollars a little enamel and rhinestone eyed bunny for three dollars this is quite an early lucite uh, retro piece for a dollar and then from a different store this one was a salvos we got this one we actually bought this because we thought it looked a little bit like paned glass and again i look for pieces that are really different and unusual that was three dollars then from a different store i found these pieces the only thing that annoys me about this store is they actually write on the jewelry you can get it off with um alcohol and a little swab and there's there's other ways to get it off but it, it is still very irritating that they write straight on it but we just have to deal with it don't we this is a really lovely 1950s, 1960s um, crystal dangle brooch. And there's none missing for $3. There's this gorgeous brooch. If anyone remembers, I did a swap meet haul maybe about two weeks ago. And I got the identical one to this, but in brown stones. And I actually paid $10 for that one. This one I paid $2 for. So I have two matching brooches now. And um, yeah, I was very happy to get that for $2. Beautiful condition. Then there was this very funky frog brooch. I just loved him. I loved the, the position of his body. Again, very different. $3. I hate how they write on them. Move on, die. There was this um, really cool lucite ring, which has all ocean-themed things, little pearls and shells and coral. And I think that was $0.20 cents or $0.50. Cents. And they're from the same place for $0.50. Cents. There was this really cool bangle. I got it because it looks like it's inset with leather and the quality you could just tell the stones these aren't glued in these are actually set into the the bangle and I hadn't heard of this brand before it's called Zwadi and while I was in the store I did a quick google and they these bracelets go for 40 or 50 dollars so I think this was 50 cents or a dollar I can't remember now but I thought well the quality of it is really really lovely so I grabbed that I thought it was very worth that money Oh, no, no, we had to get it off. Did it. Okay, moving on. There's a section over here on this little piece of plastic. I'll go through and show them to you. This is from a little op shop that I frequent that where the lady just has all the jewellery thrown in everywhere and you have to really dig through. I think I did some footage of it in a earlier video. And you go through and you just dig out what you like and you show her and she gives you a price. So I'll show you the pieces I found. This is, this is the piece that I like the most. It's a really lovely copper brooch. It is signed. I haven't looked up the maker, but I thought it was really unusual. There's this very cute Don Quixote pin. There was a little kiwi that I thought might be silver. I haven't tested it yet. 
there's this really lovely little old brooch which I believe has sterling silver in the middle it's a really old one with a C clasp there's this lovely necklace which is coral and mother of pearl beads another coral vintage bead necklace this very cute little carved bone spoon I found in her jewelry section and a coconut brooch so all together for those pieces I gathered them up and asked her how much and she said six dollars so I was very happy to pay six dollars for those moving on um, this these couple here were really lovely I got these actually from I think it was a salvos and they actually have 20% off if you make a donation so if you're ever going op shopping and it's not a pension day or you're not a student you can always take a bag of stuff in your boot we keep sometimes several bags of donation items in our boot so if we go to a salvos you can take a bag of donation items in and they'll give you 20% off your purchase that day so it's a really good way to um to be able to get 20% off is to make a donation. So there was this lovely sterling silver collar, which is stamped sterling here. And I bought this mainly for the scrap value. It was $14, but it ended up coming out to, I think, $12. And then the other piece I purchased from that store was this really beautiful yellow enamel pendant. It is signed here. I haven't looked it up yet. But I'd say it was a Danish designer. Now, if this is a Danish piece of jewellery, they, they go for hundreds. So I thought I'd take the risk on it. It's definitely going in my collection, this one. This one's actually a handmade chain as well. It's not um, machine made. And that's stamp two. And that was $17. But again, we got the 20% off that. And then the other little piece of silver I found that day was at another store. And it was a little Thomas Sabo sterling silver bracelet. I found so many of these, actually. And that was two bucks. It's very, very little. So I'd say it's a child size one or someone with teeny tiny wrists. So maybe that's why they had a price at $2 because of how small it was. Moving on over here. A couple of days ago, I found this set. It is a really beautiful 1950s rhinestone set. It's genuine 50s. You can tell by the clasp. It has this hook and eye clasp. So you actually fasten it. I'm going to be able to grab it now by hooking it just through one of the links. So these are actually adjustable. So you just hook it through to the length that you want. So you can wear it as a longer necklace or a choker. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but these are actually purple stones. And it had a matching pair of earrings. And now this is the pieces that I collect, 1950s rhinestones. I will have to do a video one day of my collection. I've said that I will wait for a big milestone so maybe when I hit a thousand subscribers I'll do it because it's it's quite personal to show your own collection I think and so I'll put it out there now that at a thousand subscribers I will show my vintage rhinestone jewelry collection and then you'll get to see all my beauties that I've collected over the last 20 years so this lovely set I will let you know if you find a necklace or earrings on their own they're never as valuable as if you have a matching set and the more pieces of the set you have makes the value go up significantly as well so if you have a brooch that matches this or you have multiple brooches because for each peru a peru is what they call it where it's there's multiple pieces then they would make like maybe a round brooch in this series and also a long brooch in this series and another pair of ear you know different design earrings when they would release them so the more pieces of a set you have the much higher the value is so whenever i see pieces like this they have matching earrings, I grab them. And for $10, I couldn't say no to that set, just purely because of the condition. It's absolutely stunning. Then moving around to this corner, this was an op shop. Actually, the last couple of times we've gone to this area, we've bypassed it because it's very hit and miss. And today I said to Hubby, let's just go pull in. We'll, we'll go have a quick look. And we're very glad we did because not only was there lots of stuff, but it was dirt cheap. They very rarely have things priced. And it depends on what ladies are on that day because you have to go around and collect the pieces you want and then you say how much and some ladies are much more expensive they'll say five dollars a piece but this lady she just wanted to give things away that day she was like yeah 50 cents a dollar so we grabbed this really lovely vintage turquoise this is natural turquoise stretch bracelet it's likely a 1970s one genuine turquoise that was 50 cents there was this lovely sterling silver and pearl brooch which is marked sterling here that was a dollar I got this really lovely peacock brooch. It's missing some stones, but I thought because it's really early, it's got over an early barrel clasp on the back. It's actually called a trumpet clasp, this one. I am going to do a video on clasps very soon. 
next week <laughs> because I keep mentioning that I'm going to do one and I will so that you know the different class so you know that this is early I mean this is late 20s 30s brooch so it's well worth having repaired for a piece like this so I grabbed that one that was 50 cents there was this genuine Pandora marked ALE bead and she gave that to us for 50 cents then in the cupboard they had this little bag and I asked her if I could grab it out and inside there was this sterling silver and amethyst glass ring it could be genuine amethyst but mm, I'm iffy I'll have a better look at it but she said a dollar so how can you not buy a sterling silver ring for a dollar then the other pieces we got were they had a two dollar earring rack that's the only things that were priced and there was these sterling silver earrings with the shell the pink and the blue I've bought quite a few pieces with this same coloring oh, where's the stamp on this one just up there 925 so they were two dollars then there was this sterling silver pendant on a chain that's also silver and that was 50 cents a little pair of sterling earrings for 50 cents and then I got this very cool leather strap with Baroque pearls on it I think it's it's actually quite long you could wear it as a belt or you could wear it as a lariat necklace that was 50 cents and then my hubby got the best find from that shop this was just hanging on a mannequin on the counter it's very cool it's got cut quartz crystal it could even be citrine beads intertwined with these silver beads and he saw the clasp had this on it 925 so this whole necklace including the beads going all the way down and the end is silver and it was drum roll da -da -da -da, two bucks <laughs> so <laughs> i couldn't believe it so that was a really really good score and it's heavy as now there's a couple more little bits here before i get to the two very interesting pieces for this week i got this very cute little pokemon pin for my son and for my other son, I got a little anime pin for 50 cents. Both of my boys, one's into Pokemon, one's into anime. So if anyone finds Pokemon or anime stuff, send me a message because my boys love it. Now, on to a bit of interesting stuff. The same op shop that we got, I think, a couple of brooches from, I purchased this little gold pendant. They did know it was gold. It was marked gold. It's got a kangaroo on a boomerang. And that was ten dollars now i got home and weighed it and it's about thirty dollars in scraps so for ten dollars well worth it and i got a little gold stick pin with a koala on it and that was a dollar very cute my next piece i actually paid a bit for but when i show it to you and explain why this is a garnet stick pin a victorian one it's actually, it could be low grade gold or it's more than likely silver that's gilt. These pieces were um, tended to be either silver gilt or gold. Now I paid $45 for this piece, but it's well worth it because even if it is silver gilt, it's worth two to 300 if it, this is what you'd pay in an antique store, or if it's gold, it's worth maybe 600. I paid $45 for it because I want it for my collection and I just think it's really, really pretty. So you can find lovely antique pieces of jewellery at, at a reasonable price to collect. If I was reselling, I wouldn't have bought it for that price um, because, yeah, it's just not the, the kind of money I would want to put into a piece. But for my own collection for 45 it was well worth it. This is, um, it does have a tinsy wincy little chip in the front of one of the stones, which I didn't notice when I was in the store. I may not have purchased it even for the 45 but I'm very happy with that. And the last piece that I'm going to show for the day, if you are on my Facebook or Instagram, you may have already seen it, is this beauty. Now, when I purchased this, I actually got it from the same shop that I got all these ones where the prices are written on them. And they literally have all of their brooches just in a tub in the count, in the, like under the counter. And you have to ask to look through them. And I knew that this was old just because of the design and it had a safety chain on it. And I thought, you know, it looks old and it looks quite tarnished. So I thought at bare minimum, this is silver and it's got natural pearls. So I asked her how much for this one because it, it wasn't written on. And she said 50 cents. So I thought, well, I'll just take the punt for that. Because even if it's base metal, it's still a really, really pretty brooch. Then we got out into the car 
and I had a closer look. Hunted around and right here next to the pin, I don't know if you can see it, you see that? 18 karat. So this is actually an 18 karat white gold brooch. It would be from that early period too likely, could even be Art Deco because of the styling, but at least, at least 1910, 1920s. It weighs five and a half grams, so it's about $220 in scrap gold alone. And if it was to retail, it would be in the $600 plus mark. This one's definitely going into my collection. I was absolutely wrapped when I saw the, um, the stamp on it. And I um, just thought I'd come on and show it to you. So, what do you think? What was your favourite piece out of this lot? I've actually got some really lovely pieces. Even though, financially wise, that brooch was the best financial purchase of my haul I really really love these um, vintage rhinestones they're the ones that kind of have my heart I'm really excited that I've got a second brooch that matches really excited for this set to go into my collection so thank you so much for watching I do have a uh, swap meet haul that I will be filming that will go up the day after this one so please keep an eye open for that because I did get some really lovely jewelry um, pieces at that too Please keep watching. Thank you so much for following us. My subscriber count is going up and up and up every few days. So thank you for the, to anybody who's sharing or um, putting the word out. Please like, comment and subscribe. Um, follow us on our other social media. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.